morning, heart fam. We continue to reach the nations for the Lord. Amen. God is so good to us. Let's go to the throne in prayer. Heavenly Father, Lord, we praise you. We magnify you. We thank you, Lord, for your grace. We thank you, Lord, for this day. We thank you, Lord, for your promises and blessings for uh, today and that that you will bring on tomorrow. So, Lord, empower us that we might move forward in you. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, today, you know, we are we are rounding the corner, you know, and uh, we want to talk about, you know, how to hold on, you know, how to hold on and to know that God has given you promises that last, not only today, but through tomorrow. Amen. And every day has a tomorrow. Amen. And every tomorrow becomes today. Go with me to Mark, the 11th chapter, verse 22. So Jesus answered and said to them, Have faith in God. For shortly I say unto you, Whosoever shall say to this mountain, Be removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes, these things he these things he saith and will be done. He will have whatever he says. Now that's the NIV version. But you know what? I you know you know I love the King James, and I want you to hear what the King James says because the King James turns on some lights. It says, "For verily I say unto you that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass. He shall have whatsoever he saith." You know what? That for me, is like turning on some lights. You know, you've, you've come into this large room and, and there are a bank of lights. Rather than just turning on one or two, you know, you're just do, 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 turning on all the lights. I want you to understand that these shells, shall, these shells are loaded. They're loaded. And I want you to catch hold because here we find that, um, uh, that these shells are all in one verse, verse 23, right? And so we need to know first and foremost that we need to have faith in God. Because if we don't have faith in God, then 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 you're lost. You're tossed to and fro, if you will. Your faith becomes shipwrecked. You 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 know you you're not able to grab hold of your bearings because every one of us will face some mountains. Every one of us will face some situations, if you will. But when we recognize, if you will, see, because God speaks to us through His scriptures. God's and, and when God begins to emphasize something, either by repetition, if you will. Um, uh, God is trying to make a point. And when he put five shells in one verse, he's saying, look, this is indicative, or I'm speaking of my grace, and my grace is my unmerited favor. So God is telling us that in this, there is his unmerited favor for us. Amen. And so when you see the word shell, it speaks of a future event, right? And so all of us have mountains, but we must come to the revelation that we must begin to speak, if you will, God's word. And as we begin to speak God's word, we begin to recognize what God is saying to us. For example, think about it in Exodus when Moses was leading the children of Israel out of Egypt, if you will, and, and, and their pursuer was right behind them. And he told them to stand still and they shall see the salvation of the Lord. Well, let me tell you something. You need to learn how to stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. No matter what your situation is, no matter what you're dealing with, God loves you and he's given you a, a promise. He's given you blessings so that you can move forward in him. Can I get an amen? Amen. See, because I need you to understand that we have to have our confidence in God. And that we need to understand that, that God is moving and working no matter what we face. Now, when you think about Joshua, Moses' successor, he, he told the children of Israel to prepare themselves for they, they, they shall see God move and work on their behalf. He didn't know exactly what was going to happen, but they went down and they marched around <clears throat> Jericho. They marched around Jericho, and as they marched around Jericho, if you will, 
they, 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 they did it in obedience. But as they did it in obedience, they saw God move. So I'm telling you, when you get up, look up. And when you look up, look to the one, if you will, from whence your uh, help cometh. Amen. And see, when we put our hope and faith in the Lord, we begin to recognize that our hope is in God and that we are his present day disciples and that we should know that, 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 that he gives us promise, he gives us protection, and he gives us his presence. And so we need to know that God is giving us his promises. We need to know that he's giving us his protection and his presence. And we must love and adore being in the presence of God. And if we want to be in the presence of God and we love being in the presence of God, then we begin to hear. Because let me tell you something, every day there's something that you could hear that would shake your faith or bother you. But if you hear the word of the Lord, if you stay in his presence, if you will, if you stay in his word, you know, the God begins to speak to you. And I need you to understand when it says that he shall and he's giving you his unmerited favor. You didn't earn it, if, if, if you will, but you were given it because you have been granted because you are in the family, because you have been adopted into the family. He chose you. That's right. That's right. Point to yourself, tap on yourself and say, God chose me. I want to pause right there. I want to take a seal up for a moment. I want you to think about it because God chose you. Many are called, but few are chosen. He's called the whole world to come to him in salvation, but few have been chosen. God has chosen you. God has appointed you, and God will protect you. Put your faith in him. There have been times in my life, if you will, that that that, that, that I heard something, and when I operated by what I heard, I either made a mess or I, I, I hurt myself or something, but when I sat back, and I operate from the position of, I've heard God, I'm going to trust God, I'm going to do what God tells me to do, then guess what? I walk in his unmerited favor. So today, I want you to hold on. I want you to hear the word of God. He's telling you to stand still and still see the salvation of the Lord. They stood still, but yet they still went forward. So go forward in the Lord until tomorrow. I'll see you at 7 for 7. Be blessed.